Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galloway Precision. Today we're going to go over how to fit your bodyguard grip frame to our extended mag release. I get this question a lot. Um, usually I try not to do videos like this because a lot of people uh, think they have an issue when they do not have an issue. So if you come to this video thinking this might be what your issue is, please contact me first. It may not be. <coughs> um, so just keep that in mind. So tools you're gonna need, you need your you nose pliers, you can need a square or triangle uh, file, you need a half moon and a flat file. All right, now this is from a project source file set. And I picked these up for, <clears throat> honestly our square file is gonna work better. But uh, pick these up for like six, seven bucks. Great for stuff like this. You don't need a really super high end set of gunsmith files to remove a little bit of polymer from a frame. Uh, you'll need your small flathead screwdriver that you've modified for wire pushing. And let's get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you've already got watched the other video. We know we pulled this out. We pulled out our mag spring, our old release. So we go to put in the new one and it's tight. Okay, see how tight that is? All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our triangle or our square. And we're gonna open this up back here because this is usually the culprit. This is the biggest point on the bodyguard that usually needs fitted. Even for a stock mag release, we've had them come in with the metal and then the old plastic that before we came out with this, we had to fit them to make them work. And so then, of course, you'll do a little test fit, and it's getting better, but we're going to need to not just open up here. We're going to take a little material out of the front. Okay. That's where we take our half moon. All right, and you'll notice it's almost the same, which is what we're looking for. We're just going to open it up a bit on this other side as well, because that's where uh, another pinch point. About the flat side of your half round, you'll make sure you hit that. Normally, I'd have the uh, air compressor over here blowing this on, or the airline, but you can see how much easier it's already going through. All right, so basically you're just going to do this until you get the fit the way you want it. <clears throat> and you'll be able to feel when you put it in there, you'll be able to feel exactly where it's binding up on, trust me. But again, this may not be the issue you are having. So please contact me first, like I say in the install video. But we can do this right here too. Saying it shouldn't plop out, it shouldn't go flying out like that. It should just nicely move back and forth like the stock one does. This is mostly why I don't do videos like this, because it's going to mean 5, 10, 15 minutes of watching me do this. Not exactly the most fun thing in the world. But, it is also a part of making sure you can get parts into a mass-produced pistol. Because there will be tolerance variances. <clears throat> And there you go. Easy pe oh. We'll 
just move on to the red one. The black one just went under the bench. So you can see we're just about there. You can almost feel it, but you can see right here. Right in this area right here. Alright. Now, <clears throat> there'll be people that I'm sure are going to comment on it. Why don't you make it smaller? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Well, the reason being is we have six different frames that we designed this off of. Uh, all of them, of course, being old frames from Insight. Um, before they ever even started doing the non-laser non edition and things like that. And that was also back when it was plastic, and these weren't selling the way they were. And they've always been a good seller for Smith, but they weren't selling in the massive numbers they are now, by any means. But the biggest thing is, when you're dealing with mass-produced polymer pistols, is this entire grip frame is plastic injection molded, okay? Okay. Those of you that have never worked in machine shops or molding shops or anything like that, the thing with molding is, and there we go, we're there. All right. Nice and easy peasy. But then, in, anyway, machine shops, molding shops, things like that, <clears throat> you know. And then we'll just take our little flathead, hook our spring a little bit. We're shoving it down. But anyhow, the thing with casting is, and molding, is you're going to get tolerance variations. And that's just from the heat cool, heat cool, heat cool. And there you are, guys. And you have masterfully fit your Bodyguard 380 frame to its new mag release. Helps if you have the uh, chassis installed, though. So that that doesn't move around. So I'll just there it is. But yeah, with plastic injection molding things like that, <clears throat> you're gonna be dealing with you know tolerance differences because the molds are constantly heat and cooled, heat and cooled, heat and cooled, and they'll get as many uh, pressings out of it as they can, which is fine for certain things, and then for certain things it is not. Um, Having done this majority of my adult life now, I turned 40 this year. I can tell you right now, plastic injection molding is not going anywhere for firearm frames, but sometimes I wish they wouldn't. But anyhow, that right there, guys, is how you fit your Bodyguard 380 frame uh, if you need to fit it for your new Galloway Precision uh, extended mag release. All right, so that's going to wrap this one up. If you guys got any questions, feel free to email me. That's tech tango echo charlie hotel at gallowayprecision.com be sure to follow us here on social media on youtube like comment subscribe below be sure to file follow us on firearms friendly full 30 gun streamer facebook instagram and vimeo and as always be safe be accurate and god bless